Greetings, APW family. This is President and Lead Negotiator Mark Demonstein with the latest update on the status of national negotiations before the contract that determines our wages, benefits, and working conditions is due to expire midnight Friday, September 20th. We opened bargaining with the Postal Service on June 25th, and since then we have met frequently to exchange proposals, by the way, over 100 from the union side, and to make the kind of progress toward a good new union contract the postal workers deserve. And as I previously reported to you, the APW and Postal Management this week were locked down, engaged in round-the-clock negotiating sessions at the main table, the craft tables, and at other committees. During this lockdown, there's been some modest progress on a number of issues affecting all of our crafts, including job security, protecting bargaining unit work, and narrowing of differences on other important items, as well as on the economic package. However, the APW management were not able we were not able to secure a negotiated agreement by midnight, September 20th. The National Negotiating Committee, the NNC, faced two options. Either begin the process of mediation with the expectation that we would head to interest arbitration to get a new contract, or seek mutual agreement with the Wood Postal Management and what we call stop the clock, meaning the contract does not expire on September 20th, and we continue negotiations for a reasonable period of time going forward. It was the unanimous decision of the NNC to stop the clock and continue bargaining. We have secured an agreement from management that negotiators will meet at least once a week going forward. It is also the position of the NNC that we will reevaluate progress on a regular basis and invoke mediation if further negotiations prove not to be productive. Plain and simple, your leadership believes that continuing negotiations is, the, is in the best interest of all our members as we continue to make progress towards our bargaining goals. By the way, this approach is similar to our previous round of bargaining in 2021, when we stopped the clock, continued negotiations, and in 2021, we reached a tentative agreement by early December, which was later ratified by you, the membership, with a strong 94% yes vote. Now that we have entered this new stage, I want to emphasize that all the provisions of the current union contract remain in full force and effect, such as our no layoff protections, 50 mile limit on accessing, seniority embedded grievance procedures, convergence to career, workplace safety, and all our lead benefits. Members will continue to receive their step increases as per the existing agreement. You, the members of the foundation of our union, it is crucial to keep letting your voice be heard. As we continue to negotiate, stay engaged. Wear your union gear you're, you're, you're with pride. Join events on October 1st as we demand the good new union contract that postal workers have earned and deserve. Before I sign off, I want to salute the entire na national negotiating team, your assistant craft directors, a number of the NBAs working on craft committees, the rank and file bargaining advisory committee, and our headquarters staff. Everyone has worked hard and stayed united through the summer, and especially this past week, to put us in a good position to win the kind, the kind of contract, a fair contract that you all deserve. The APW will continue to keep the members updated, including regular message on the negotiation hotline, our website, apw.org, and on our social media channels. APW family, stay strong, stay engaged, stay involved, union proud, say it loud.